What's up, everybody? This is your boy Ramones, and um, I'd like to welcome y'all to my channel. Um, this right here is actually a place filler, place filler video, because like I told y'all, um, the robe talks and everything. Um, I record it every Monday, and tomorrow's actually Monday. Actually, matter of fact, I'm sorry. Um, forgive me. Um, happy Easter. Today is Easter for y'all that believe in you know the Christianity and everything for y'all that are Christians. Happy Easter. Um. Like I was saying, this is a place filler video because I actually recorded a video um, last Monday for my rope talks, but I felt like I was revealing too much. So I didn't decide to post it. I felt like some feelings was going to be hurt. So I decided to go ahead and uh, make a video today. Something that um been going through my mind lately. Um, and something that uh, me, and, me and some of the boys was talking about last night. And just a fair one, this is going to trigger some people. Everyone knows their destiny. There is no person that's like, oh, I have to keep beating it in your head. Like, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. You're like, do this, do that. That person knows their destiny already. And I feel like we reach a point, I say, probably when you're 18, 19, 20, your early 20s. I say in your 20s. On average, a person knows that they're going to be special. Like, they might not know how that they're going to, they, like, they may not know how they're going to reach that certain point in their their, their destiny, but I have, like, I believe they have that feeling, like, deep down inside, I know I'm going to be this, I know I'm going to do that, like, and they just carry that energy, when you dream, you dream about things that, your future, or how you're going to accomplish this, how you're going to accomplish that, like, you dream about that type of stuff, so I don't believe the whole, like, um, Having to tell somebody like, oh, do this, do this. You want to make it. You want to be this. You want to do that. That person individually knows. And that's something that I have to tell myself. I'm starting to realize like that person knows that they're going to be this, that. They they know. So there is no like you like telling them like, oh, you need to get your stuff together because, you know, if you don't, then no, man. That person know. That person deep down inside knows. Subconsciously, they know. So it's like a waste of time instead of telling people like, oh, get yourself together, this and that, this and that. And they already know. Like if they knew that they were gonna reach that certain whatever their destiny is, they they if they they know that final goal, if they know it's whatever it is that you see in them, whatever they will be doing that. They will be carrying themselves as that. It's a waste of time instead of telling somebody, oh do this, do that, do that, just do it. They know. They know what they, they that final outlook. They might not know how to get to that point, but they know. For example, um I only use myself as an example. I know I'm going to reach it in what I want to do. I know it. I feel it. Um, I carry myself with it. I dream about it. Um, I've been knowing this for a long time. And it's to the point where people come up to me while I'm at work or wherever I'm at. And they're like, hey, what's your name? Random people I never met. Hey, what's your name? Um, I tell them. Oh, um, we start talking, start a conversation up. Hey, uh, what you, 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 oh, you in school? What you in school for? Oh, okay. Well, take down my number. When you graduate, you call me. I have somebody look like, I got you. Like, I know somebody in that field or you come work for me. I got you. Like, it's connections. And it's like, and I'm sitting, I'm like, yo, like, I didn't, like, I'm the type of person, like, I just be chilling. Like, and these people just be coming up to me. Like, there's one man named Mr. Sowers. He came up to me and we were talking. He's like, hey, where you been at? I was like, I've been, I've been in school or whatever. He's like, oh, he's like, what you in school for? The first thing he's like, that's good. It's good you've been in school. He's like, what you in school for? He waited a little bit. No, I lied. I lied. I asked him. I said, hey, Mr. Sowers, you mind if I ask you something? Me and him always have conversations. And I was about to, he th I guess he thought I was about to ask him something serious. So he was like, uh, yeah, sure. But I was really asking him about sports. I was like, how you feel about the Texans or something like that? And then he was like, oh, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever. Then he was like, um, where you been at? I was like, I've been at school. And he was like, oh, he was like, uh, where you go, you know, where you go to school at? Um, what you going to school for? So I told him, he was like, oh, okay, well, when you graduate, I was, I was like, I'm almost close to the finish line. He was like, well, when you graduate, come to me. I know a lot of people in that field that will help you get a job. Cool, Mr. Sowers, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. He's like, no problem, my brother, no problem. Then, um... This other guy, uh, his name is Chris. I think it's, uh, I'm not going to say his last name, but I think his name is Chris. Um, he gave me his number. He was like, hey, man, um, me and started talking. He was like, you know, what do you do, whatever, 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 whatever. And one of the other co-workers, she told him, she was like, I go to church and everything. She was like, you should see this man in church. 
and because she seen me in church before I, I had came to visit her church one time and he was like oh really now he was like okay well um this was gonna happen he kept telling me he's like man if you ever need anything let me know he always told me that but he's like man take down my number he gave me his number we exchanged numbers he was like if you need anything let me know and he was like um i know he's like how about your school i was like, I was like well i'm currently you know dealing with the loans and everything like that he's okay well next next time whatever whenever you need to start filing for stuff let me know he was like, I might be able to get you up out of here at my current job. He was like, yeah, have you come work for me? He was like, I run a non-profit. I made him just start talking. And it's like, I'm not coming up to these people and asking these people nothing. It's just like the conversation are starting up. Like one guy I met, he was talking to me. like, hey, man, do you need a job, whatever? He lives at work. He was like, you need a job, whatever? I was like, um, I was like well, I'm at school, whatever, whatever, whatever. Because it was a full-time job. Like, I can't do it in school, whatever. He was like, well, okay, well, how about... So we know he's like, he's like, what you in school for? I explained it to him. And he was like, okay, well, that's what I do. I build. He told me he built the uh, he builds apps and stuff like that. And all he's like, here, man, you know, he's like, exchange numbers. He was like, stay in touch, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, okay, people know they had they like they gravitate to your energy. So it is no like, oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it this and that. And they're not putting no actions for you. Not trying to better themselves. They're not. Come on, man. Like you're wasting your time. Everyone deep down inside subconsciously knows. That's just that's just something that I um I picked up on. It just uh, it, it's just changing the way I'm moving with people, you know. So I want y'all to take this time and think about it. Think about the people around you. Think about yourself. If you posting that you have like you posting on social media, oh this and that, like oh I'm working on myself, this and that is. Be honest with yourself. Really, be honest with yourself. So it's just something that I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of people faking the funk, man. Let's just be honest. Tired of people faking the funk. Like, if you really want something, you gonna go after it. It's just it is what it is, you know. Make sure I rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, take a look at yourself. Take a look at the people around you. It is what it is. I'm out.